I was hoping you'd be by. We've received letters from Archon Redanus of Tevinter and King Marcus of Nevara. For both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of. I assume that means they both want something very badly from us. You're quite correct. Archon Redanus requests that the Inquisition, as a neutral party, destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaran Tevinter border. King Marcus asks the same, but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead of Tevinter. What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Orle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. Tevinter is the longer, richer game. What sort of man is the King of Navarra? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a Pentecast. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Navarra. As a Pentecast, will Cassandra be upset if we don't help her relatives? With all respect to Sigar Pentecast, her interest in politics is best described as... thin. Why is the ruler of Tevinter turning on the Venatori? He has little reason to love them. Archon Redanus has rightly identified Corypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. Tell me about Redanus. Like most Tevinter rulers, he's heir to an ancient bloodline, politically shrewd, and a highly skilled mage. Rumor also claims he has an incredibly soft spot for cats. I actually have relatives in Navarra. If you reason with the Archon, the Trevelyans can persuade King Marcus we should help both countries. Letting the Inquisition curry favor with both Tevinter and Nevara. Most ideal. <laughs>